Alright, what we're doing here today is talk to you about the mailbox maximizer and why you need to use it. Uh, this is the mailbox we pulled out of a, out of a brick enclosure that had been in there for about six to seven years. And uh, as you can tell, there's a hole in it and where it is rusted through. See the hole here, the back seat off, it's just coming apart. Uh, we pulled this out and uh, the brick were failing, they were spalling, it's where, uh, what I've been told by the brick companies, it's where the uh, brick get full of water and the mailbox enclosure gets full of water from being so solid with masonry inside that it, uh, it breaks it from the inside out. Uh, the water will sit in there so long, uh, even when it's really hot, the water just stays inside that mailbox. I, I've torn mailboxes apart uh, that have been in the, in the sun, no rain for a good two months, pull them apart, there'll be solid water inside. Water will be coming out of the brick because it just, once it gets inside there, nothing can get to it, so it just sits there, never dries. Uh, and this is what happens. Uh, and in order to get this thing out, had this happen in a normal mailbox where they weren't going to replace the brick, you would either have to take the top off, tear it down, or try your best to grind it out and try to fit another one in. Now grinding one out is a very tough thing to do because nine times out of ten, the mason will fill this solid with mortar around the mailbox. And that's how he lays his brick over the top of it. it this is all solid. So that mason will trap that water next to that box. So it's not really, uh, a lot of these mailboxes will rust just can't stop it. Uh, what you can do is slow it down or uh, there's another option. This is a patent pending product. It's made by Scattered Mind Innovations, which is a company I'm in partnership with. Uh, this helps Get this installed. 
This is what it's going to look like. Mind you, this piece needs to be flush with the back. When you build your brick enclosure, this is going to actually set in your brick enclosure. And you'll see it has legs to set on the outside courses of the brick. You'll notice that it also has ventilation around the outside of the mailbox. When you put this in, this piece of foam needs to be setting three quarters of an inch back from the face of your brick enclosure. And what that does is that allows you to put three quarters of an inch of mortar around your mailbox. Now the good part about this is once you do put this in, if, if or when your mailbox does go bad, you simply chisel out with a, with a screwdriver and a hammer or chisel and a hammer the one mortar joint around the outside of your mailbox and your mailbox will then slide out of your brick enclosure if it's installed properly like, like you can see in some of our other videos. Also, we put weed poles in. You can build your brick enclosure completely hollow. No cinder blocks, no nothing. And there's no need to use that extra material any longer because this will hold your mailbox into place and it won't move. Once this is installed and the three quarter inches of mortar is around the outside of the mailbox, you cannot pull this mailbox out until you take that, that one mortar joint out. Uh, this lets your mailbox breathe because it is perforated. If, if your mailbox is hollow and you put weed poles at the bottom like you're supposed to and leave the void under the mailbox, don't put, don't, don't set your, a lot of guys will, will lay mortar on the brick and set the mailbox on top of mortar uh, to hold, help hold it into place. But in this case, if you put this in your brick and leave it hanging out, the air can flow through here it just allows your whole mailbox to breathe and dry. And that right there will keep the brick from spalling. It'll keep your mailbox from rusting. And even if your mailbox does rust, you can change it no matter. I, once this is installed, you can take this mailbox out of the brick enclosure in less than five minutes and you can reinstall it in less than five minutes. So in 10 minutes, you can change your own mailbox. And nobody will know that you have this mailbox maximizer in your mailbox uh, to try to take your mailbox out of it yourself. And even if they try, they're gonna have to chisel out the mortar and pull it out. Uh, but it allows, it allows the consumer, because it's, it's a very expensive cost to have a new mailbox installed into an existing brick closure. I personally, we charge anywhere from 250 to 350, and to build a new mailbox in labor alone, I'm about 350 to 400. Uh, some people do it cheaper. Some people uh, are more expensive. I'm I'm, I'm kind of middle of the road. The problem with taking them off and 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 redoing the mailbox from from the bottom of your steel box up is your mortar color typically won't match. Or if you chip a brick, it's hard to get the same brick to uh, repair it, uh, to look the same. So even if you bought the same brick, if they're in a different spot, the sun changes the color of the brick. So it's ultimately probably going to be a little bit different color also. This way, the only thing you're going to have to change is when you take the mortar out from here around the outside of the mailbox and take it out and put a new mailbox in, you either have to re-mortar this joint around the mailbox, or you can also use a caulk around the outside of it. That way it'll hold it into place also. Either way, the consumer, the homeowner can do it themselves and save the money and hassle of having to hire somebody, wait for them to show up, pay them that $250 to $350 to take the top of the mailbox off. Uh, you know, it does, it, it, these things range, they come in all different sizes and shapes, and they range anywhere from $79.95 up to $129.95, depending on the shape and size you want. 
We have one, this one's for a two brick wide, that's a 10 inch brick, so it's, it's about 20 inches wide, 19 and three quarter, and about 24 inches in depth. These things, we have these in, in 20, for 24 by 24 mailboxes, the 20 by 24 mailboxes. Uh, we have them for this size standard mailbox, and then for the larger mailbox. We do not have them for the jumbo at this time. But you, you can change your mailbox out and, and do it quickly. Now these can be installed by bricklayers. I have a lot of regular customers that have bought these and they've had really good luck installing these themselves. Again, you don't, you don't have all that guesswork of trying to get the top straight because initially once you install this, your brick can run right over the top of this and it's really hard not to get the good shape that you're desiring because there's a metal frame here. Uh, we've had a lot of good, good, good comments back from people on this about how easy it was. We had one guy who said that he actually built his mailbox in seven hours himself. He was a do-it-yourselfer, and that's what this is really built for: is people who want to do stuff yourself. I mean. You're going to have to change your mailbox more than likely due to the rust because of the way that they're normally built. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's, it's been a perception that yes, it needs to be really solid, just really, really solid. And basically you're using more material, more mortar, more time to install that material, and then also you're taking the chance of causing damage in the future to your material your mailbox to your brick. The, 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 the more all these things can be built, the better off it's gonna be. Uh, and that's coming from brick companies, the people who make the brick. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good product. It, it'll save you your money the one time. If you have to change your mailbox one time, it'll save you the money of having to do it. This model $79.95 plus shipping and handling and taxes, you're looking properly about $112 bucks in total. Uh, one time of having your mailbox changed or replaced can range anywhere, like I said, from $250 all the way up to $1,100 if you're having to buy new material to do the whole mailbox. Uh, you can go to www dot scatteredmindinnovations.com that's our website uh, you can email us through the website if you have any more questions or concerns uh, we make these for 10 inch brick we can make them for 8 inch brick uh, give us a call we can do whatever you need uh, we have these in other sizes and shapes also we have uh, flat top for flat top construction we have them for the, uh, what some people call an eyebrow arch, which it comes up and then arches about a half arch instead of a full. Uh, we'll have pictures of those up on the website soon. Uh, we're, still, we're still a work in progress on our website, so be patient. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at uh, 682-936. Two seven five zero or nine four zero four five two zero three zero eight. Thank you. Have a good day.